Okay, welcome to the Vietnam Vet. That's me, that's Bob, I'm the Vietnam Vet, and you are watching the Vietnam Vet Show on YouTube and Rumble. Um, and if you're watching me for the first time, I want to say thank you and ask you to please subscribe to my show. Okay, that would be very helpful if you did that. I'm trying to get something set up here right now. Um, which I know I should have done before, but I'm going to do it right now, right there. And, okay, I don't want that. I'm going to change that to, um, what's that look like? Um, that one's way over there. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, hi, welcome back. I'm sorry. I'm all by myself doing this, and I'm using something called Manicam, and I want you to tell you before we get to the assault at uh, First Monday Dog Alley, uh, which is what you're watching, I know. Um, and this is the second time I'm doing this video, because the first time, good old Mini, Mini Cam made my voice um, off sync. It's like you have to reset the computer each time. So I may be, after my little break coming up, uh, redoing this and, and going to something different, even though they gave me two years free. Why did they give me two years free? Because I originally signed up for the lifetime membership, which apparently only is good to the lifetime of that um, version. I thought it was my lifetime. Well, the lifetime of the version. So, anyway, I digress. That's not what you're here for, to talk about Manicam, who I'm a little upset with that, you can tell. I'm here to talk about an assault. Yes, happened to me, the Vietnam vet, at um, First Monday, Canton, Texas, Dog Alley, also known as Dog Town, also known as, <coughs> excuse me, Curry Trade Grounds. <coughs> My, <coughs> man, my voice is really going on me. Listen to that. <coughs> uh, I may have to pause this if that keeps going. <coughs> Give myself something to drink. Um, so here we go. Anyway, uh, getting back. Um, so once again, I'm telling you, I was naive. I went to Kenton, Texas, um, uh, first Monday on um, December 2nd. It was a Friday. And uh, it was a cold, dreary day, a cool day, actually. Um, you know, raining, blah, blah, blah. But um, it's billed as the world's largest um, flea market. So I'm thinking, okay, this is cool. Me and my wife, we went. Um, world's largest flea market. Um, see what it's like. Um, and so we're going through it. It wasn't actually that bad. I mean, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff, what they had, uh, you know, antiques. Um, and uh, we were looking around, and uh, I got to talking to some of the vendors, and they told me, yeah, they sell animals uh, over on the other side of town, part of uh, um, First Monday. And I'm saying, they sell animals? Really? Real animals? Yeah. Okay. Um, do they happen to sell dogs? They're like, yeah, they sell dogs. Lots of dogs. I'm like, cool, I want to go see the dogs. So my wife and I left early than we were gonna. We had some french fries and we left. We drove over there. And um, naively, I went in videotaping. I was videotaping over at the um, flea market sign. Nobody complained. One young lady said she didn't want to be on video. I said, okay, no problem. Um, so, you know, I started walking around. And I'm thinking, you know, this is nice. You know, I wasn't really paying attention to the conditions at first. Okay, I was looking at the animals. Um, and my eyes were not focused on the conditions. Um, so I started getting a little funny feeling, you know, I actually walk through enough, if you do it, eventually see the conditions. Um, and I'm walking through and I'm uh, talking to a few people, you know, where's the dogs, where's the dogs? Um, finally, they told me, you know, go over here, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm filming on this side and um, 
uh, which you will see um, if you stay with me long enough. And I'm thinking, okay, um, finally, you know, I interviewed one lady selling her dogs, and then I went into the official dog alley, also known as Dog Town, also known as Curry Trade Grounds. That's why I started to get weird. Because people started like, what are you filming for? What are you filming for? You know, like that. Hey, you, what are you filming for? You know, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I do a YouTube channel. You know, all good. What are you filming for? So I have to a few times, of, what are you filming for? And you start to think, what's up here? So my hat changed from nice doggies and animals to investigative journalist. Yes, that's the hat I put on. You're a Vietnam vet. So, keep in mind, in my opinion, and I could be wrong, I mean, my opinion doesn't count for much, um, I pay to get in. It's a public event. I can film, right? I don't think it's like going to Starbucks where they kick you out. I didn't pay to get in Starbucks. I could be wrong. Not 100% sure. But... All of a sudden, I'm going through, and I get stopped by this guy. Not this guy. I'm sorry. He'll come later. This guy. And this guy's name is, as I found out, Frank Elliott. Frank Elliott and, I guess, his wife, Lisa Elliott, own Curry Trade Grounds. Okay, now you'll hear in the video, we start to talk about, you know, me filming. And I'm saying, well, I think I have the right to film. But call the cops. Okay? So I noticed some larger dogs. So I'm like, you know, I like to see the larger dogs. So I go take a step to go over to the larger dogs. Now, all of a sudden, and I'm going to uh, minimize this a little bit, so you see me better. All of a sudden, this guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this guy, Frank Elliott, grabbed me from behind my neck and starts choking me and starts pulling me down. An assault. Now, whether I was right or wrong about do I have the right to film is one thing. Whether he has a right to assault me, that's another thing. He does not. So I got out of it. I backed away. And that's when, boom, I see in my corner of my eye this guy. Come on, this guy, Jeff Woods, and this person. I think that's Lisa Elliott. I could be wrong about that. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know what the babe looks like, okay? This guy. I'm shrinking all these things now, oh, man, because I want you to see me, not them. This guy, Jeff Woods. So I'm thinking, well, these are the minions coming to attack me, okay? I don't know. So I back away, all right, and honestly, I'm a nice guy, but I go to grab, you know, I put my hand on my weapon, I'm like, whoa, people, what's going on here? I'm a 70-year-old disabled vet, about to be atta already attacked, and about to be attacked by two other people. Don't know what's going on. Luckily, I'm a calm, gentle, nice person. I don't pull my weapon, I'll start shooting people, of course. That would have been the wrong thing to do. All right. So now I'm going to let you watch the video. I actually listen to the video because unfortunately you don't really get to see the assault. You're going to have to take everybody's word for it or against it. You'll also hear um, Lisa, 
if that's Lisa at the end saying to me, oh, no one saw it. Yeah, hint, hint, ha, 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 ha. And you hear um, my buddy Frank Elliot threaten me again. Threaten me with more physical harm. So I have a question for the Canton, Texas Police Department, who he called, by the way. They met me at my car. And I have a question for Canton City. I have a question for um, First Monday, the people who organize this whole thing. Um, I also have a question for Peter, okay, that organization. And the ASPCA and KLTV. Why am I mentioning these people's names? I'm going to tell you. See, I had a right to be concerned, turns out, after I got home and I did some investigation. But before we get to the investigation, let's go to the videotape, as they used to say in where I come from, on, on uh, um, WPIX. Let's go. Uh, a film. It's really interesting. You gotta think to yourself, oh, oh wait, up to it. Uh, these people are. What's you doing here? I just do it for my YouTube channel. Doing what? It's just for a YouTube channel. For, I mean, for, for to do what? Uh, just, just to show. If, if, any, if any of these people, if they don't want you uh, mm -hmm. video on them, then don't video on them. Is this a public place? Yes, this is my place. It's a public place. No, right? You're open private, to the it's public. It's a private place. I and if, I, if, I want public. You to, if I want to put you out of here, I can put you out of here. Let's call the cops. Uh, go tell Lisa call the cops. Come on, boy. You're going out here right now. You're touching me. That's assault. No, it ain't assault. You're going to go home out of here. I've asked you to leave, and you're going to go. Get away from me. Go call, go call the police right now. Why don't you come with us? Listen, here's the deal, bud. We own this property, okay? That's called private property, all right? So if we want it's you to open leave, to no, the public. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's open to the public. If we want you to leave, yeah, it's you called leave. Leave. I it's I you to go get the police. Then come with us. We'll go get them right now. We'll have them come and trespass you off of here, and you won't be allowed to come on to this property anymore, okay? So come right over here with us. Come right over here with us, and we'll just call the police, so we'll get this taken care of. Okay? Let's go. Go. I'm calling you. Walk that way. No, you ain't putting me into that place. You ain't putting me into No, well, come this way, then. Uh, look, we ain't going to be in front of me. You're going to come off this property. Come on, bud. Now. I mean, if you're going to make a big deal about it, we'll just, we'll just do it. We're trying to approach you nicely about it. Oh, he's going to me. He assaulted me. No, he didn't. I said there was. He choked my neck. That's assault. So, I'm being nice here. Yeah. Let's go on. Let's go on. I've already had this conversation with police. They told me when I asked people to leave, they don't want to leave, then I can't visit people. You know why? You don't have to call. No, just stand right here and make sure it gets done right there. Broke the creek out here. Everywhere on this side of the property we own. Anywhere between these two roads. We'll get her out of here on the street and go down to the parking lot. That's the street? That's the street right there. Yeah. That's a public street. What's your name? My name's Frank Elliott. I own this place. You? Jeff Wood. You assaulted me. Uh, you know you did. Okay? If, you, if I video. had assaulted you, buddy, it, it, would, it would be a real assault. I just want you to get off my property, so get out there on the street and leave. Be careful. You, 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 you've you've been sir, been you reached for a pistol with an unarmed man in front of you. Yeah, he assaulted me. He threatened my life. I don't think anybody saw that. He threatened. Nobody's threatened you. I'm also asking Ted Cruz. Um, I'm going to uh, put this on uh, my um, um, Twitter um, account and um, to at Ted Cruz. Um, why? I'm going to tell you why. I told you I did some investigation. Turns out, yes, sir. Let me get this set up for you. Yeah, looking good. Zoom over to this one. Look at this. Can you see that? Okay. 
Um, this is dated November 4, 2018 from Animal Angel Dog Alley at First Day Trade Days Canton, Texas. Um, what is it going to say here? Um, all these are going to be uh, linked below. Um, but this one talks about the parvo virus there, um, how they walked through the place and did some investigation. Um, they did some filming. And this is why they were upset with me. This is why they got so nervous. I didn't know this was going on uh, behind the backs. But I, 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 now I then after reading all this, I, I re-looked at these videos. And I found out, you know what? Nothing's changed in two years. Okay? Nothing's changed. Here's another article. This one's from N Puppies Mills. All right? This one's dated um, no, March 13, 2018. I don't want to go through the same thing over and over again because I'm linking them below. Take a look at it. Okay, if you're interested, you will see. All right? Here's another one. I didn't do a lot about investigation. This is uh, five minutes of investigation. Um, more. This one, she, she actually wants Ted Cruz to take a look at this and shut them down. And I, I, I agree with her. It should be shut down. Um, what is that change, that org? Um, what's this one? This one is also from Animal Angel. This is the September 1st article, which they referenced in my last time I showed you this company. Um, this one is from... Come on, load up, baby. Um, what's this one? Okay, this poor lady. Uh, this is an article from a lady who bought a dog from there. A few days later, dead. Okay? And if you scroll all the way down, okay, you get to the uh, comments. Go all the way down. Once again, this will be linked. Uh, comments. I welcome my comments below. Right? First Monday, blah, blah, blah. Um, oops, sorry. Unfortunately, this is a familiar story. All right. Go on, read them. Hey. Okay, go ahead. Go on. What's going on on the internet? There it goes. KLTV. Filth may wind the puppies bread and filth may end up at Dog Alley. Oh, they're still in, in dirt. Okay. Some more under investigations. Um, this one also mentioned Dog Alley in Canton, Texas. I don't know what's going on here, but it's not good, all right? Um, especially, you know, if you're going to assault someone over uh, um, them who originally was, was filming to be a nice guy. Um, but I ask uh, people like, um, oh, I don't know. Frank Elliott, is this okay? Uh, are you an animal hater? I, I question this. Huh? Goofball assaulting me. Um, he assaults me. So what say you? Uh, before I show you the other video, the video I took. And by the way, as you're looking at the video, you'll see the, the lack of water. Uh, the water that you find is dirty, um, very seldom there's food, overcrowding is, is, is all over the place, it's rampant, um, and um, other stuff. My mind is um, racing right now and I'm not um, getting everything um, the way you know, I'm, I'm, I, I should be telling you. Uh, because I don't script this, and, and I'm just talking from my heart. I'm a nice guy. I, I really am. And, and I went there with nice intentions. And I find out uh, it's kind of a mess. And and I once again, I uh, what say you first Monday. And I'm talking about the first Monday in a whole day, the um, organization that, that runs this. Okay? How about Canton City officials, huh? It's okay for people to be assaulted on, on, on in your town. Uh, that that's what the first Monday is all about. Hmm? Canton PD, did you really tell this guy it's okay for him to physically move people from his property? Really? He can do that. Hmm. 
ASPCA. Do you done? Did you do some investigations here? I, I think I read they check this place every every uh, when it first opens each each month. Oh man, seriously, this is okay. KLTV. It's okay. Now, according to uh, something I read, uh, the animal control officer in Canton, um, Texas, there is Tom Perry. Is he still? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I guess I should have checked. Um, I'm wondering if this is okay. Uh, is he the one that checks uh, once a month? <laughs> So let's go on. Um, if you're still watching the show, uh, I appreciate it. Subscribe, please. Uh, most of my videos are not like this. Um, you know, and this, this is a time it really bugs me that I have so few followers and, and I get so few um, people um, watching my videos because this is the kind of stuff that really needs to go more and more and more and more and more big time so people can see it and say, no, we're not putting up with people that may get assaulted coming into, um, um, you know, or, or, or someone else walks in with a camera and he starts filming or they're filming with their uh, 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 video camera or something. And by the way, every little cubicle I went into, if the person said, I don't want you filming here, uh, you know, I, I left. Okay, so I, I honored them. All right. Um, I'm just going to show it to you. So everything you see is the pre, um, you know, don't film here um, stuff. Um, I like to go back. I should do an undercover thing. I, I should wear a disguise uh, and go back. You know, I could dress up like a woman, you know. Don't you misgender me, okay? All right, so let's watch this. Um, and like I said, um, I appreciate you watching, and I'll be right back. Um if I need to stop doing the shooting, doing the um, little film that I made, I guess, the film, uh, I will. And I'll try to keep it short because I've already been talking for 23 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm boring you.
Jesus that day and said, Man, I can't believe it. You know, he's given his life for me. And he said, Well, we're all in. We're all in. And I thought, Man, that's just so cool. You know, we're all in. We're all in. We're all in. So you be the judge. I'm no animal expert. Um, you know, some of the animals looked okay. Some of the dogs looked okay. Uh, but they're clearly hiding something. All right? They're clearly concerned if you if you walk in there and, um, you know, they're, they're hiding something. Um, and um, that's what you should be concerned of. Also be concerned, you know, read some of the articles I, I, I posted on on my YouTube channel here. Um you know, you don't want your dog dying in a few days. Uh, I think you have to be out of your mind to buy an animal there, uh, especially a dog. Um, but, you know, 
Unfortunately, not many people are going to see this video, probably. <laughs> but you did, and I appreciate if you're still here 33 minutes in. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, and, uh, you know, contact me through uh, Messenger right here. You can you contact people on, on YouTube. I think you can. Um, you know, leave a message. Leave a comment. That's what it's called. I'll leave a comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, and thanks for watching the Vietnam vet. Always um, an exciting show. More exciting stuff next year coming. This could be my last video of this year, but more stuff coming. All right. Check it out. See you later. Bye, 4, 3, 2, 1.